In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look together at how to rotate text in an X, Y, or Z rotation. I have two texts on the screen, or paragraphs as they're called in Tyler Pro. I have one that says Monday Sale, I have another one that says 50% off. So let's assume that we want to take one of these and begin to experiment with how we can rotate it. Let me show you a couple of ways to do that. I'm going to click on my Monday text paragraph. I'll have my green, green box with my bounding uh, markers at the corners in the middle at the top and side. And let's first of all use the sliders. I'm going to start with the X. Okay, and as I click, I start in the middle. Uh, these are default set to zero. I'll take my X rotation and I'll move it to the right. And you notice what happens. The X rotation rotates it around an invisible uh, center axis that goes horizontally. So when I want to rotate in the X direction, I'll, I can rotate that way, I can rotate this way, I can even make it backwards if I want to, but that's probably not something you'll do often. So that gives my, me my X rotation. And I can tweak it a little bit if I want to by using the up and down arrows. Or if I simply decide to click on the entire thing, I can uh, type in a number. I just set that to 0 0.8, which is basically no rotation at all. So that's my X. Now in the Y rotation, uh, pivots it around an invisible axis uh, here. It goes from the top center to the bottom center. Watch what happens when I do the Y. The Y it moves it that way or this way. Again, we can go backwards if we want. But that gives me my Y rotation. And my Z rotation is around the, the very center uh, again, in a two-dimensional way, where that just spins it either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So that's my Z rotation. I want you to notice that when I rotate this text right now as it is, it has no depth. Now we're going to work on that in a different lesson where you can add depth to it. So when you start to rotate it, it's not like rotating a thin piece of paper where all you see is the edge. Another way to rotate besides using these sliders is to go ahead and use these two tools over here, which we haven't talked about yet. The double arrow uh, gives you your Z rotation. And so that's when you want to tip it up and, and uh, flat against the screen, as it were. If you click on the globe, that creates a circle around your paragraph. And then in your circle, you can grab the item and you can rotate in more than one uh, level at once. And this can get very confusing to try to say, OK, how do I do this to get it so it's exactly the way I want it to be? How can I grab it and move it in the right direction? Uh, it takes a little bit of practice to figure out how can I pull this up or this down or what can I do to change it. So what I find myself doing, especially as I'm learning how to use this three-dimensional, is I'll move it perhaps with the mouse over here, but I will probably tweak it a little bit where I seem feel like I have a little more control here um, when it comes to using the sliders. So unless you're really good at beginning to figure out how this, this uh, globe works, I would recommend using a mix of that and then using the, the uh, X, Y, and Z sliders as well. But we encourage you to experiment with this. It's, it's a lot of fun. It gives you a lot more uh, creativity as you take your paragraphs in Titler Pro and make them stand out from ordinary titling. Thank you.